God is dead in Royals issue 10. In the far future, Ronan and Maximus continue their journey to the Sky Spear, trying to reawaken the Moon King inside of it. Ronan, meanwhile, is attacked by a crystalline dog, but is saved by a giant glowing hand. In the present, the Astarion is attacked by one of the progenitors. Inside the ship, the Inhumans panic, wondering what has stopped their ship mid-flight. Flint begins feeling a presence of some type, examining them before he covers the ship in the power that is overtaking his arm. Thanks to this, the Inhumans are saved from the Astarion exploding. The crystalline ball that they are trapped in is flung down to one of the nearest progenitor worlds. Emerging on the strange world, they find that the crystal has taken over more of Flint's body, this time moving up his body and onto his head. While Swain cares for the unconscious Flint, the others survey the surroundings, with Marvel Boy explaining that the world is made up of tiny microscopic computers, and crashing onto the planet has disrupted the system and someone has been sent to fix it. Another progenitor arrives, immediately trying to delete them from its system. The Inhumans try and fight back, with Crystal using the air around the giant to trap its lasers. But it won't last forever. Medusa wants Nova to come up with a plan, but he says touching the Sky Spear only gave him a hallucination and not a college course in it. Maximus steps in, saying that they are in a brain, and the brain is his territory. Gorgon reminds Maximus that his powers won't work on a computer and the fact that Swain is here cancels his gift out. Maximus proposes that they combine both of their powers and push on each other's powers to create some type of field. Combining the powers, they push on the head of the progenitor, squeezing it until it explodes from the pressure. As Maximus celebrates his defeat of God, the Overlord Progenitor watches from the center sun, taking Maximus's proclamation that God is dead as an insult, an insult it plans on repaying. Royals issue 10 was yet another awesome Jack Kirby inspired adventure for the Inhumans that actually gave us quite a bit of information on the mysterious Progenitor's cool looking world within a world. The downside is that while we got information on the Progenitor's world, we still got little to no information on what they are, what their goals are, what their plans are, or anything like that. And it was something that I was hoping that by now we would have gotten, because we're kind of deep into this storyline, and we haven't really figured out what exactly is going on yet. I'm going to give this issue a 7.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.